Do your Beat Studio headphones look like this piece of trash right here? Ugh. I understand that you're looking for some replacement ear pads for your Beat Studio headphones. In this video today, I'm going to show you everything you need to turn this piece of trash into this. Magic. Obviously, I'm kidding, but I am going to show you in this video everything you need to know before you go and look for replacement ear pads for your Beat Studio headphones. So let's start the video. Hey everyone, this is Or from Wicked Cushions, and before I start this video, I do have a small disclaimer. As some of you may know, replacement ear pads is what we are known for. However, this video is not going to be me continuously praising our ear pads. I'm going to stay as objective as I can and give you all the information that you need before you go ahead and buy replacement ear pads for your Beat Studio headphones. Before I get into the video, it will really, really help me if you can like this video and help other people see this video at the top of the search results so when they're looking for Beat Studio ear pads, they know all the information that you are about to receive. So enough ranting, let's get on to the video. The first thing that I'm going to answer is the question, are the ear pads covered by the warranty that comes with your Beat Studio headphones? Now the answer is, it depends. It really depends on which warranty you got. The regular warranty lasts for a year, and up until now we've seen that the ear pads usually last about a year and a half to two years before they start looking like this. There are some freak accidents where it takes about five months for them to look like this. So if you are within the one year warranty, they will cover it. They're not gonna replace the, the ear pads, they're gonna replace the entire headset. If you have Apple Care Plus, it depends on how long you purchased Apple Care Plus for, but you're gonna be covered the same way. One thing that you should know, if you are outside of the warranty and you go to Apple and try to fix this, it is going to cost you between $100 to $150 based on the stories that we've heard from our previous customers. The second point that I wanna address is a very, very common mistake that we see a lot of our customers make is not knowing which ear pads to buy for their headphones. Honestly, Beats by Dre have named their headphones in a little confusing way. Not as confusing as Sony names their headphones, as you can see by the list of models that they have right here. But some people do get confused by the names of the Beats headphones. So let me make it clear for you. Beats Studio, which you can see right here on the hinge, is the oval over ear headphones that Beats by Dre makes. They have two versions, which is the Beat Studio 2, and it's also referred to as the Beat Studio Wireless and Beat Studio Wired, and they have the Beat Studio 3. A lot of people confuse it with the on-ear version, which is the Beats Solo, which also says the name on the hinge, and this is the on-ear round ear pad version that Beats by Dre makes. They have the Beat Solo 2, which comes in a wired version and a wireless version, the Beats Solo 3, which only comes as wireless. And right now, they also have the Beats Solo Pro to make it even more confusing. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you're in this video for the Beats Studio headphones. So I'm gonna get rid of the Beats Solo headphones right now. And let me talk about the Beats Studio headphones. There's two versions of the Beats Studio headphones. One version was made by Apple, and the other version was made by Monster Audio. The Monster Audio version is a very, very old headphones. It was made before 2013, which is when Apple bought Beats by Dre. And since then, Apple has released three Beat Studio headphones, which is the Beat Studio Wired, Beat Studio Wireless, which are also known as the Beat Studio 2, and the Beat Studio 3 that only comes in a wireless version. Now, what do you need to know from all of this information is basically, all of the Beat Studio headphones that are made by Apple have the same ear pad and fit the same way. So what does that all mean? When looking for ear pads, you just wanna make sure that they're made for the Beat Studio that were made after 2013. It doesn't matter if it says Beat Studio 2, wired, wireless, or Beat Studio 3. And lucky you, there's not a lot of people that are selling Beat Studio ear pads that were made for the Monster headphones. So most of the ones that you're gonna be looking for right now online are gonna be for these models. Now, let's talk about what aspects you should be looking for when buying new ear pads. The first thing, as we mentioned before, just make sure it states that they fit Beats Studio headphones. Make sure it doesn't say Beats Solo, Beats Pro, Beats Solo Pro, or whatever Beats headphones there are right now. Make sure it says Beats Studio headphones. The second thing that I would be looking for is you wanna make sure that the inside seam 
is made with glue reinforced with stitching. As you can see these ear pads right here, the first thing that started happening on top of them flaking of course, is that the inside seam completely split. This is the most common thing that happens to the Beat Studio headphones. The reason that this happens is because the original ear pads only use glue to keep the inside seam together. You wanna look for something that also has inside stitching in case the glue ever fails. The third thing that I would be looking for is what adhesive did they use in the backside of their ear pad. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, when we first started selling ear pads, the adhesive that we used on our ear pads was the same one that everyone else used and it was horrible. About 70% of our customers always complain that their ear pads fall straight off the headphones. This personally drove me crazy and it led me to start looking for better adhesive and I found it and it's called 3M Red VHB Adhesive. Now, what you wanna look for is if you can find ear pads that use the same adhesive, it never fails, it is really, really good and it's also easy to remove when you want to replace the ear pads again. Just a disclaimer, there are some people using fake 3M, which is extremely hard to notice because it works perfectly for the first year and a half. After a year and a half or so, it starts wearing out and then your ear pads will fall off. The next thing that I look for, and it's personally for me, it's not gonna be the same way for everyone because not everyone is going to like this, but I look for a thicker ear pad than the original ones. The original ones are 0.7 inches thick and the ones that I usually look for are one inch thick. And let me tell you why. The original ear pads are extremely comfortable. There's no questions about that. When the headphone is new, they're soft as a cloud and it really, really feels amazing. However, there is one thing that we see repeatedly happens after about five to six months of continuous use. The ear pads tend to go flat. What happens is the ear pads are too soft and the foam inside favors comfort but doesn't favor longevity. What you want to look for is something that is going to be thicker and a little bit firmer in my opinion which is not going to be as comfortable for you or maybe it's going to be even more comfortable for you than the originals but it is going to stay thicker for longer so your ears never get irritated by touching the plastic and the drivers on the headphones. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is only going to be applicable if you already purchased your ear pads and this is the most common installation mistakes. I'm not going to go into full detail in this because we do have a video showing you how to replace your ear pads and the first three minutes are completely about the common installation mistakes that people do and I'm going to link it down below so you can watch that video but I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the common mistakes. There are three very very common mistakes that people make when replacing their ear pads and let me start with the first thing. There are a left and right for these ear pads and they are made different. So when you're replacing the ear pad, you want to make sure that you're putting the left one on the left side and the right one on the right side. The second thing, not only is there a left and right for the ear pads, there is also a top and a bottom. If you install the ear pads upside down, chances are they are going to fall off. And the last mistake, which is very, very common, especially if your ear pads have gotten to this point where the foam is completely just separating, is that when people remove the ear pads, they do not remove the ear pad completely and they install the new ear pad on top of it, which is just going to distort the sound and it's going to cause the ear pad to fall off eventually as well. Now, let's talk about when it is time to replace your ear pads and when you do replace them, how do you make them last longer? Before I started making ear pads, I had the same old Beat Studio Wireless for three years and the ear pads never split nor flake on me. However, what did happen to them is that they started smelling like <laughs> because I used to work out with them for about five to six times a week and sweat started to build up slowly and slowly and I just could not wear them anymore because the smell was so unbearable. This leads me to my point. The Beats headphones are known for notoriously being worn by people who work out in the gym, mainly because they're being advertised with athletes most of the time. So even if they do not split or flake, it does not mean that you do not need to replace your ear pads. Wearing headphones that you sweat with 
for five to six times a week, every week for the past two years, is a really good recipe for an ear infection. Just imagine wearing the same shirt to the gym six times a week for two years and never ever washing it. When you think about it like that, it's pretty disgusting. This doesn't only apply for people who work out. No matter how you use your headphones, you do end up sweating in them. Obviously not as much as you do if you work out with them, but sweat will build up into the cushion and into the foam as time goes by. It's going to be the same metaphor. You're probably not going to wear the same shirt to work every day for about two to three years and never ever wash it. I hope you don't. So the bottom line is, I would recommend to you to do two things. One, clean your ear pads regularly. Now, this really depends if you're going to work out or not. If you're going to work out, I would say try to do it after every workout, but I know no one is going to do that. So once a week is gonna be fine. If you just use it casually, you can do it once a month. The second thing is replace your ear pads on a regular basis. Now, this is going to depend as well. If you work out with them, I would recommend that you replace them every six to 12 months. If they feel nasty even before, you might wanna replace them earlier. If you listen to them casually, I would go about 16 to 24 months. Again, if they start smelling or they feel nasty, you might wanna replace them before. If you're interested, we've made a whole video on how to properly clean your headphones and we're going to link it down below as well. So go check it out. For my last point, I'm going to go over where you can buy replacement ear pads for Beat Studio headphones online. Whether you prefer eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, Wish.com, you can find ear pads on all of these websites that I just mentioned. It's up to you to choose. Up until now in this video, I really, really hope that I was objective as much as I could, but this is where it stops. You can obviously purchase ear pads from us, Wicked Cushions, on our website at wickedcushions.com. All of the things and the aspects that I have told you I am looking for in ear pads exist in our ear pads, which is basically the thickness, the inside seam, having stitching and glue, the adhesive on the back that we're using the 3M VHB, and everything that I've talked about exists in our ear pads. One more thing, all of our ear pads come with a full one year warranty. And if you think this is an empty promise, you can go and look in some of our reviews where people have tested us on this. As I promised, if you do decide to go with us, there is a 30% off coupon and it's gonna be at the top right corner right now. So simply click the link and go grab your ear pads. That is it everyone. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that now you know what to look for, where to look for it, and how to avoid the common mistakes when replacing your ear pads. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every month. Thank you for watching.